Welcome to the table. This is our midweek service of Holy Communion. Uh, as you join us virtually, as we wait for the opportunity to be able to come and share communion, you know, one of the things that's happened in COVID is that we have not been able to take our sacrament in the traditional way with the chalice and the cup. And we have changed to a new modality and it's uh, a plastic piece with aluminum and, and cellophane on top of it. Uh, but the wonderful thing about the Sacrament of Communion is, is just like with our baptism, the amount of water is not what makes us baptized. It is uh, the gift of God's grace and the gift of baptism of the Holy Spirit. It is a holy mystery, a sacred thing. With communion, it's not the elements it is the presence and the reminder that the body of Christ is not only in us, but we are a part of it. And so that allows it to be uh, happening anywhere in the world with any kind of elements. Uh, this is just a means of grace and not the grace itself. And so as we go through our ritual today, I'm going to be reading the small sheep that we give uh, to anybody who'd like to take them. Uh, we have consecrated elements every week at the back of the sanctuary and on the altar and in the office. And our invitation to you is, is that if you have family members or somebody in your community who's a shut-in, uh, if you get their permission, you can go and share the sacrament of communion. Invite them to the table of Christ and let them be a part of the body no matter where they are. It's that wonderful, holy mystery. And so I'm going to lead us through this order of worship. It can be used in the hospital. It can be used in the homes. Uh, you can have a copy of your own there so that when we do this, uh, we can share together. So uh, we thank you for joining us as, as we open the table. Let's pray. Almighty and everlasting God, as we come into your presence, we are reminded of that beautiful night that Jesus pulled his disciples together and shared the Passover meal and changed it and us forever, inviting them to a new covenant, inviting them into the power, powerful salvation that he brought to this world. And so, Lord, as we partake of these elements, we bring our sins and lay them before you. We bring our hearts and open them to be filled with your Holy Spirit. We bring our lives and pray that we would consecrate ourselves to this holy covenant of love that leads us to live as Christ lived and to become 
the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. These are the portions of Scripture that we want to reflect on today. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 and 29. Come to me, all ye that are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and lean and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Let's pause a minute. And before we take this segment, if you have burdens, if you have concerns, then I invite you to pause and place those at the feet of Jesus. You know, on the night that he shared the sacrament, he washed the disciples' feet. It's his way of reminding them that he was a servant leader, that he was here to heal and make whole. And so if you have a burden, let's pause and you lay it before Christ. Second scripture, John 6, 35, 37. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never hunger. Whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And anyone who comes to me, I will never drive away. And now if you have need in your life, not want, but deep need, a need for a sense of of identity, a need for a sense of comfort, a need for a sense of inner peace, then bring those things to Christ in a moment of silence. We invite you now to spiritually unite with all the members of Heritage United Methodist Church and with all the saints in heaven and earth. Listen to that phrase. All the saints of heaven and earth as you partake of the Lord's Supper. According to Luke, when our risen Lord was at the table with his disciples, he took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. And when their eyes were open, they recognized him. On that road to Emmaus, after the crucifixion, those who didn't understand, found and remembered in the breaking of bread. I invite you to get your elements. If you have these, they've already been pre-consecrated. And I'll pray a prayer of consecration for your elements. Almighty and everlasting God, you have offered yourself as a holy and living sacrifice Pour out your Holy Spirit upon these elements that they might become for us the body and bread, the body and blood of Christ. And then pour out your Holy Spirit upon us that we might become the body of Christ for the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. If you have the small cups, try to peel off that top layer that is the cellophane. Body of Christ, broken for you. And now if you will take the full top and pull it off, or if you have a cup, the blood of Christ shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. On the night of the Lord's Supper, Jesus said, Do this in remembrance of me. And as my friend Larue Owen reminded me, it's not just the recalling of the incident. It's literally the remembering, the putting back together of the body of Christ to make it whole. And so join me in our prayer together. 
Dear Lord, we thank you. Through word and sacrament, you have given us your Son. He is the true bread from heaven and food of eternal life. We live up to you this day, these joys and concerns of our hearts. So strengthen us in your service that our daily living may show our thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. My hope is that during this day or this evening, whenever you're watching this, that you indeed remember the presence of Christ and you feel the communion of the saints, that we participate together in this holy mystery that is the body of Christ. And as always, remember, live loved.